the, the input cost has not been a major factor on our margin for the pharmaceutical business. Uh, typically for us, uh, uh, supply chain uh, cost uh, is, is not such a big factor in, in our sector. And, uh, and overall, uh, we've been able to, uh, those, those cost increases that we've been seeing, we've been able to compensate them uh, within, within, our, um, within our balance sheet or within our P&L. So, so, so we're good on, on that side. And overall, uh, at least for, for our business here at Bayer, uh, we've seen uh, stable margins when it comes to 2021. Uh, we come out of a very tough 2020 where we had some really demand uh, decreases uh, linked to COVID. So this year is, is for us is a recovery year. Okay, it's good to know. Listen, Stefan, I don't mean to paint you in a corner, but, uh, you know, this is something that a lot of people are watching. We've seen it happen with GE breaking up, uh, and that, uh, I guess, uh, really made uh, people sit up and pay attention because of its long legacy in history. Uh, 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 Toshiba up in Japan is on the verge of uh, the same thing happening, breaking into three. As far as Bayer goes, though, they're pretty happy with uh, the structure, the company, as it's structured uh, now. I know your vertical is the is the farmer side, but talk to us about the strengths of, uh, of Bayer staying as it is now. You know, um we see this uh, very, very clearly as a, as a three pillar strategy within Bayer. So we see ourselves as clearly uh, best owners of our three business, uh, both be it in crop, uh, in uh, consumer, and also, also, of course, in pharmaceuticals. And as long as uh, we have no impediment to actually performing as best owners of these business, we don't see a need uh, to, to split up. 